Did you know that after a baby is born, the blood left in the umbilical cord and placenta is rich with potentially life-saving cells? This is called cord blood. Cord blood is full of stem cells. These stem cells are blood-forming cells that can help cure over 80 types of diseases and disorders. Things like aplastic anemia, leukemia, lymphoma, and other inherited immune disorders. When transplanted, healthy stem cells replace damaged cells in a patient's bone marrow and immune system. In Canada, these amazing cells are usually discarded as medical waste. Canadian Blood Services is working to change this, and we'll get to that part in just a bit. So why are these stem cells so unique, and what do they really need to match? Okay, let me explain. Like organ transplantation, stem cell transplantation involves finding the best match. Only 25% are lucky enough to find a match within their own family. The other 75% must look outside their families for an unrelated donor. At any given time, about 1,000 Canadian patients are in need of an unrelated blood stem cell transplant. Unfortunately, about half of those people don't find one. Finding the right stem cell match is challenging, but scientists know there's a better chance of a match with someone who shares the same racial or ethnic heritage. So, cord blood donations from babies of diverse backgrounds will help meet the needs of Canada's ethnically diverse population. Canadian Blood Service's Cord Blood Bank, a national and public health care resource, is dedicated to increasing the chances of finding more matches and helping to save lives. As of right now, you can donate at select hospitals in Vancouver, Edmonton, Ottawa, and Brampton. So how is cord blood collected? The collection begins after the safe arrival of a healthy baby and only takes three to five minutes. The process is safe and painless and poses minimal risk to the mother and baby. Once cut, the umbilical cord is cleaned and the cord blood is collected by a healthcare professional in one of the designated hospitals. A sterile needle is inserted into the umbilical cord and the blood is drawn. Okay, so now that you understand what stem cells are and how they're collected, you might be wondering, how much will it cost me to donate? Rest assured, your donation is your gift to someone in need and there is no cost for you to donate. So what's next? How are these stem cells used? Are they safe? First, the collected cells are sent to the Canadian Blood Services processing facilities and many tests are performed to ensure the safety and quality of each donation. Once testing is complete, Information about the samples is entered into a national database. The cells are then cryopreserved at minus 196 degrees Celsius. Now that's gold. There are examples of cord blood stem cells that have been stored for over 16 years without any detected deterioration in quality. So what happens to the samples that may not meet certain requirements to be banked in the National Public Bank? In a continuous effort to help drive life-saving medical discoveries, donations that do not meet the requirements to be banked, with a mother's consent, may be donated to our biomedical research program. How does it work? How do stem cells get transplanted? Well, it's simple. Patients are given the stem cells through transfusion, pretty much the same way you would receive blood. Now let's get into a bit of the science behind all of this, and you'll see, it's pretty fascinating. Once transplanted, stem cells get right to work and begin to divide and produce new blood cells. This stimulates the regeneration of unhealthy bone marrow. The cells can then transform into other types of cells to help repair tissues, organs, and blood vessels. The big question is how does Canadian Blood Services fit into all of this? Let me break it down. We manage the Cord Blood Bank. We recruit healthy donors and search for matches for all patients in need. And we coordinate the delivery of these potentially life-saving stem cells. No simple task. Canadian Blood Services Cord Blood Bank is also part of an international network of over 69 registries and 47 cord blood banks throughout the world. This gives us an even greater chance to find successful matches for Canadian patients. So now you know more about how cord blood saves lives and how you can help. For more information, visit blood.ca slash cordblood.